Okay, so uh, we're continuing with our discussion of the uh, eigenvalues and eigenvectors to solve a system of differential equations. And so what I've got here now, let's try a 3 by 3. So I'm taking a look um, in the book. Oops, I lost my page. Let me pause for a second. All right, so uh, this is 7.5 number 11, which is on page 398. And we have x prime equals 1, 1, 2, um, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 1, times x. And so we want to solve. OK, so first we need to find, uh, find evals and evx. OK, so we need the determinant of a minus lambda i to be equal to 0. And so our determinant here will be 1 minus lambda, 1, 2, 1, 2 minus lambda. So there's no shortcut on this one. OK, so that means <clears throat> uh, I'll start, maybe I'll expand across just the first row here. Uh, 1 minus lambda. Does everybody remember how to do this? Um, we cross this off and this off, and so then we have the determinant 2 minus lambda, 1, 1, 1 minus lambda. Does that look familiar? And then don't forget to change your sign, so the sign here is plus, minus, plus. So it would be minus and then a 1 times, let me get rid of the red there. Um, let's see, it looks like it's going to be 1. 1, 2, 1 minus lambda, right? And then finally plus 2 times our last one here. Since this is the last one, I'll go ahead and put the red back in. 1, 2, <laughs> oops, oh gosh darn it. 1, uh, 2 minus lambda. Ah. My hand is resting on something it's not supposed to be, I think. There we go. OK. And so this is going to be a cubic polynomial. I guess you you can see that. But uh, 1 minus lambda times, we'll just go ahead and write it out here. 2 minus lambda, 1 minus lambda, minus 1, minus. Then we have our 1 minus lambda, minus 2, plus 2 times. 1 minus 2 times 2 minus lambda. Okay. And now, <clears throat> if you expand all this out, you know, sometimes um, we can uh, simplify this a little bit without expanding it all out. I don't like to expand it out unless I absolutely have to, but in this case, I think we end up having to. And so you can double check that if you expand this, you get minus lambda cubed plus 4 times lambda squared, plus 4 times, oh, plus lambda, minus 4. Now we come into one problem right off the bat. How do you factor a cubic? Well, hmm. I think you, there's actually, you can see here, we might be able to, we might get lucky. Do you see that, um, hmm. Is that going to work? If I factor a lambda squared out of this, minus lambda squared, I actually think something factors out. Uh, if I take out a minus lambda squared, what's left? That would be a lambda minus 4. Ooh, all right. Boy, we got lucky. <laughs> so that lambda minus 4 factors all the way out. And we're left with 1 minus lambda squared. And that's easy to factor. Yay! So um, I guess the upshot here is look for tricks where you can. 1 minus lambda times 1 plus lambda. And there we go. Good. So lambda equals 1 minus 1 or 4. And now what do we do? We go looking for the um, eigenvectors. So let's go ahead and do lambda equals 1 first. So for lambda equals 1, uh, we're going to solve a minus lambda i times v equals 0. 
So we're going to do that right by looking at the row reduction of a minus lambda i. So in this case, we're going to have uh, 1 minus 1, 0, 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, oh, I should write it down here, 2 minus 1, and then 2, 1, 1 minus 1. Okay, so that's going to be 0, oops, that should be a 1, that didn't change, um, 0, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 0. Okay. How did that ch 1 change to a 2? I don't know. There we go. <laughs> okay. Luckily, I've done this in advance. <laughs> so I can double check my arithmetic. Okay. So let's uh, uh, go ahead and row reduce. I'll go ahead and flip those around. 1, 1, 1. This is probably going to be really entertaining for you to watch. Oh well, minus two, minus two, minus two I'm, will give me a one, 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 zero, one, two, and then zero, minus one, minus two, and this is expected, right? Because uh, the at least two of these rows need to be the same, otherwise we messed up. So in this case, we have one, 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 zero, one, two, zero, zero, zero. Okay, well, we're not finished yet, right? Because this is our pivot, this is our pivot, so I need, should get rid of this one first. So that'd be a minus one, minus two. And so that would be a one, zero, minus one, zero, one, two, zero, zero, zero. Good. And so what does this correspond to? Um, remember, we have these zeros off to the side here that we're actually solving because we're solving for a minus lambda i times v equals zero. So zero is our right-hand side. And so in this case, the way you want to interpret this is that we have v1 is equal to v3, v2 is equal to minus 2v3, and then v3 is equal to v3. So this means that it's free, a free variable. Okay, so therefore our vector is any multiple of 1 minus 2, 1. Good. And so we have our first eigenvector. Excellent. All right. So similarly, we do the same thing for x equals minus 1, or sorry, lambda equals minus 1. And so if we have lambda is minus 1, then a minus lambda i becomes 2, 1, 2, 1, 0, 1, 2, 1, 2. Okay, and so in my row reduction, right off the bat, I'm going to get some nice things happening there, right? I'm going to go ahead and flip the 1101 one, one to be up on top, and then I'll have the 212, and then this is also 212, so let's just zero it out because we know that's coming. Right, and then finally, this is going to be, I'm going to multiply row 1 by minus 2, right, to get rid of that. And so I'm going to end up with 101. Zero one zero 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 zero. Good. So again, this row of zeros is giving me the free variable. So v1 is again minus v3. The second row says that v2 must be equal to zero. And then v3 is v3. So my eigenvector in this case is any multiple of minus one zero one. Very good. And similarly, I'm just going to uh, write down the result for this one. Um, so for lambda equals 4, we get that v is equal to uh, 1, 1, 1. Okay. And so now um, let's summarize what we have here. We have lambda equals uh, 1, and then we have the eigenvector. Uh, what was it? 1 minus 2, 1. Lambda equals minus 1, and then we have 1, that was the one we just did, minus 1, 0, 1, and lambda equals 4 gave us um, 1, 1, 1. Good. So therefore the solution, do you remember how to do this? Uh, X of t is going to be C1 
e to the lambda t, which in this case is just t, times v, which is 1 minus 2, 1 plus e2, e to the minus t is minus 1, 0, 1 plus e3 times e to the 4t, 1, 1, 1. Good. And so this now is the general solution for the 3 by 3. Yay, boy, that took us the whole 10 minutes there, didn't it? Uh, yeah, so these can take a little bit of time, um, but they're fairly straightforward. In the next video, we're going to be talking about, uh, or in the next section, we're going to be talking about uh, what to do with complex eigenvectors. And then we'll be talking about, um, just briefly, we'll be talking about the um, um, multiple eigenvectors, the defective case. We won't do a lot with the defective case um, because what I really want to do is I want to get you into the um, numerical modeling. Okay, so we're just going to be um, reminding ourselves what those other two cases are, and then we'll jump into some numerical stuff, which will be new. All right. Um, so for tonight, we're just going to be doing um, seven four and seven five, and I'll see you on Wednesday. I think we'll try to do a live session on Wednesday. Um, mainly just to say hello. Uh, I want to see everyone's lovely face. We haven't, uh, we should probably try to do more online live uh, just because I think it's good for the uh, swell. <laughs> well, we're running out of time right now, but um, I should say, you know, a lot of times I get asked to do uh, letters of recommendation for people. And so it's always nice to know what your face looks like. <laughs> Or at least know who you are. So uh, that's why I like to at least meet people online a little bit. So we'll try that out on uh, Wednesday. I'll send out the Zoom link um, on Tuesday. Okay, I'll see you later.